and that'll work. <laughs> All right. In with the magic powder. Today we're taking blood from, from some hybrid carp. So uh, we collected the fish from the pond, brought them into the raceways here, and then we're anesthetizing the fish in tricane. Uh, after that, we're going to take a fish out, get a weight and length from the fish, and then draw blood. Uh, what we need to draw blood are vacuum tainers. These vacuum tainers contain lithium heparin, a needle, and then this little needle holder. Basically, this holds the needle in the vacuum container. These are the three things. So when we're ready to draw blood, we'll remove the back of the needle. That just screws onto here. And then we place the vacuum container in the holder. Basically, what this is, if you look at the needle, the needle's uh, covered in this rubber sheet. So the needle has two parts. Uh, the part that's going to go into the fish and then on the other end, the part that goes into the vacuum container. Uh, there's a little rubber sheet that covers this, so you want to be careful when you're handling it. Uh, there is a needle underneath there. So basically, when the needle's loaded, um, you want to just put the vacuum container where that rubber sheet is. You don't want to push down on it yet. We're only going to push down it when we're into the fish so that we maintain the vacuum of the vacuum container so that it'll draw the blood out. So, I'll get a fish. One eighty two. Twenty point nine. So, when we draw blood, we're aiming for the caudal vein. The caudal vein runs. The, the spine of the fish runs along the, the lateral line. The caudal vein runs on the ventral side of the spine. So we're going to go into the fish on the ventral side and the caudal peduncle. Basically, there's an angle to the needle. It helps if you keep that angle going with the fish till you get under the scales. And once you're under the scales, you want to tip the needle up and go straight down till you feel the vertebrae. Once you feel the vertebrae, you want to back the needle up just slightly and then push the vacuum container down and then hopefully you'll start drawing blood up. You did everything right. So let's try it. So we'll go underneath the scale, straight down. Okay, you can feel the vertebrae there. It's easy to bounce off the vertebrae, but I'm on it right there. You can see how it's kind of bottomed out. And then push the needle down, push the vacuum container down, and you can see the blood drawing up. We don't need a whole lot of blood, so then you want to take and invert it several times so you make sure the blood mixes with the lithium heparin. After that, we'll label the tube and we'll place it on ice. One six two. Twenty point three. One other thing um, about when you when you actually push the vacuum painter down onto the needle. Um, again, you don't want to do that until you know you're on the vertebrae and know you're on the, the caudal vein. If you push it down too early, you'll lose your vacuum. Once you once you're into the fish and you feel the vertebrae, you can make slight adjustments, and it helps to make very small adjustments so you know that you're in the right spot. So right here, 
right now I'm just making some very small adjustments. I can feel the needle on the vertebrae. And as soon as I rupture that caudal vein, the blood should start filling into the back of the tumor. There it is. So you want to make those real minor adjustments and move the needle slowly. You don't want to pull the needle back out because if you do, you lose the vacuum. 163. 20.7. 